driving test is blah blah in my mind i'm thinking yo go away like as i've done that in my mind i'm thinking oh jeez i've just messed up i've just messed up because i parked on the double yellow line but then i thought you know what whatever happens happens so after that i did my mirror check and i kept on driving and then we went back to the station so obviously i was a bit unsure because i could see in my instructor's face through the middle mirror that he knew he kind of knew that i i i messed up a bit by parking in the in the yellow on the yellow line so he kind of had a feeling but when we got back to the station the driving examiner was like ah, congratulations wow and it was different because normally normally all the tests i've done all i hear is i wish you all the best but try again or unfortunately you've not been successful this time but make sure you try again but this time i had congratulations so i was so overjoyed i was so happy i was but one thing i did mention to the driving examiner was normally if it was other driving examiners they would have failed me for parking on the double yellow line why didn't he he said that because there was no one behind me there was no cars behind me that's why he passed me and it just made me think sometimes like sometimes with his driving there is sometimes you do need a bit of luck in terms of the driving examiners i failed for things that were even as close to the parking on the double yellow line so i would recommend definitely if you are doing your driving test do look for a test place that is a bit quiet because i'll be honest if you're driving in london people are so impatient they're always in a rush they're not even bothered whether you're you're a learner you're you're in your test everybody just in a rush and you have to be extra extra careful you're driving as well i think it does come down to a bit of confidence because you kind of need to be a bit confident in your ability as well to drive because i'll be honest with you driving is one of the most scariest tests i've ever done in my life it actually is one of the most scariest tests i've ever done in my life because you're under pressure of driving and whilst you're driving you're trying to concentrate on the road but you're also looking at the driving test report to make sure that obviously the, the, your examiner hasn't given you any major also you're looking at the road making sure you haven't hit anybody making sure you're doing it correctly so it is very very scary now just to go on this part i got a motorbike license just in case i filled my driving test and i thought you know what if driving is not for me then i can pass my motorbike license there are alternatives in case you do continue failing your driving test just on a final note because obviously i wanted to get into just this final part because a lot of people are like me in the sense that they fold their driving test so much that they're frustrated they want to give up and look for other methods of gaining their driving test without having to go to the driving test center and actually sitting in the driving test and passing it my thoughts on that i was very very close to doing the same because i also was very frustrated because when it comes to learning how to drive it does cost a lot of money it does cost a lot of money and I don't think people really realize that it does cost a lot of money in terms of the lessons in terms of the resets and you also need to study when it comes to driving because you need to know the rules of the road it's actually quite funny because some people are very comfortable with the practical but the theory test some people fail it quite a lot and some people are very good with the theory test but when it comes to the practical some people fail it quite a lot the practical for me is more harder than the theory for me personally my advice for those people is, listen, I know it's very, very frustrating and I know it can be very, very difficult, but one thing for sure, I know it's easier said than done, but please, please, please don't give up and just continue going, continue trying. You are going to get a lot of people that are going to fail you, that's going to tell you your driving test is not good enough, but you do need to believe in your ability. I do know it's not, it's not easy and for people, for myself growing up, in the environment I've grown up is even more difficult because my parents never drove, my dad doesn't drive, my mom doesn't drive, quite a lot of people in my family don't drive, so it's even more difficult. So I don't have that support network where I can just say, oh, I just want to do extra practice because I have to pay for it. And obviously paying for it is also more tough for me because now I've got a lot of responsibilities in terms of paying rent, paying this, paying that. So it's a bit more difficult and I can understand why a lot of people do give up, especially if they've got children and a lot of big responsibilities because the money you're paying for the driving you can be using it for something else but it's a case where you do have to be a bit determined in order to learn how to drive when it comes to driving some people get it instant some people can drive like that others it does take a while 
people like myself, it takes me a while to learn certain things. But once I know it, I know it. Please, please do not give up. Keep going. I know it's difficult. But do look for alternatives. Look for driving tests that you know have easier pass rate. Because when it comes to driving and a lot of things, as long as you pass, it doesn't matter whether you do in Scotland, whether you do in England, whether you, wherever, as long as you pass, just try and avoid any illegal means. It took me eight years, eight years to finally pass my driving test. For you, it might take a shorter period of time, but the fact is, I did it, I did it. For me, I don't mind how long things take, as long as I know I can do it. So I want you to apply the same system, the same mentality, because if you believe in yourself that you can do it, yes, there's going to be a lot of driving examiners that's going to fail you. It's going to be very frustrating that you have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, doing tests, doing this, doing that. But if you really believe that you can do it, then I believe you also can do it. So I'm going to leave it there because it's your boy, Mr. CV. And thankfully, I'm so, so happy that I've passed my driving test now after all these years of trying. And I hope and I'm wishing you the same as well. So it's your boy, Mr. CV. Have a nice day. Keep watching my channel and keep sharing my channel. Keep sharing the positivity and keep sharing the love. Thank you.